Welcome to the Daily Jink for April 3rd. Here's a quote of the day from Picasso. I am always doing that which I cannot do in order that I may learn how to do it. Pablo Picasso. Let's go to the schedule. The end of the 10th week. <coughs> the familiar essay final draft is due by Monday at 6 a.m. Uh, post to Google Docs to the bottom of your sh shared and, and commented on first draft. Okay, so this is the draft that I commented on with my initials in your file name underscore WCA and we're closing out the Danicott uh, discussion and then on Monday we'll we'll start the last paper the familiar essay 2 okay let's go to the note back to the notes um, a student asked me in an email whether it was really necessary to put the reader in time and place why not provide some suspense and hold back pertinent information? I told him that he mistook his audience. Your reader needs to see a picture from the beginning, where the writer is, where the, where the writer is, and what he's doing, and what it, and what has happened. Time and place, details. I get twitchy when I can't see where I am in these essays, and I want to throw them down and stop reading. Audience awareness is important, and the writer putting the reader in a physical space from which she can see what is going on is everything and really you can still practice suspense but hold back what's really important to the story you are telling and not where you are because if you do that we never start the journey you want us to take into that mystery one more thing describe everything in more detail don't just tell us stuff as if this is not your condition. Live it for us on the page. We don't want to just see the rain. We want to get wet. Question of the day, when is the final draft of the three familiar one due? It's due by Monday. Posted, pasted to the bottom of the copy of your paper that I shared with you with, with my initials in your file name underscore WCA. Okay? All right. Thanks. See you on Monday. Bye.